Sometimes I think we're so caught up doing the urgent things that we miss the important things. And I think the reflection is a, is a time for us just to pull back from all that urgency and, and trivial things uh, and begin to allow and to crystallise the really important things in my life. People should do the reflection, I think, because they're thirsty. And the question is, how are they thirsty and how will that thirst be quenched? I'm talking about a deep thirst of the heart. And the only well at which that thirst will be quenched is the well which is Jesus. So this reflection is a way of leading people to the well which he is. I think Lent's a time for us to to really learn what it means to be disciples, to be people who think with the mind of Jesus, who act with the, the love of Jesus, who feel with the heart of Jesus. When we reflect on something, we don't just think about it. We don't just look at it. We take it into our hearts. To get to know someone, we've got to spend time with them. And in spending time with them, it helps us, say, um, open out to each other and understand who we are. We'll see something that we've possibly never seen before. And each and every time that we read the scripture, we'll see uh, a deeper uh, understanding of Jesus in that. And we'll see a, a, a deeper, deeper message that Jesus has left to us. I can't encourage people enough to take part in this reflection during Lent. The core of our whole existence and the core of our being is, is Jesus Christ for us as Christians. And recently, even as bishops, we've been looking at how can we look at our church in Australia and how can we uh, look at Australia and how can we renew our, our area, our, our, our country. And we're all coming back to this. We need to focus more on Jesus. And of course, where do we find Jesus and come to know him? Not just know about him, really know him. It's through the word of God. These reflections give us an opportunity of gathering together with others from our community, reflecting together, praying for an openness of heart to hear the call of Christ and this strength of the Holy Spirit to make us generously respond. Well, I think, that I think at the heart of the Christian life is the call to allow the Spirit of God to form in us the mind and heart of Jesus. And I don't think there's a better way to, to allow that to happen, or at least to, to make room for the Holy Spirit to bring that about in our lives, than by picking up the Gospels, entering into them in prayer, trying to, to ask ourselves perhaps the question, what kind of man must Jesus have been? What kind of heart must he have had to say these things or do these things or act this way or treat people in this way? Thank you.